How's it going out there in ukulele land? It's Jeff from jeffrey-thomas.com and I'm going to preview my ukulele tab for Dock of the Bay by Otis Redding. So make sure you're following the link in the description to the tablature on my website and here we go with the intro. Ready, go! One, two, and three, and four, and one. Back up to the verse, two, three, and four, and one. Two, three, and four, chorus again. Okay, then the last part of the page is the bridge. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, and then it'll, you're over to page two at that point. So, what can we talk about? Um, I tried to follow the guitar playing on the recording which is usually what I try to do. Um, pick some instrument because most of the arrangements that people want don't have ukulele on them, if that makes sense. So um, what is signature about this tune? Uh, we're hanging on a G chord for the intro. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. And I've given you your down and your up strokes there. So it's down, up, 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 down, all right, then we hit the verse. Stay on our G chord. One, two, three, and eighth note rest, or a hit, however you want to do it, to a B chord. One, two, three, and four. Stay with the same chord voicing. Take it up a half step for C. One, two, three, and four, and. That's a signature lick that walk down from the C to the A. And all you're doing is chromatically walking down. C, B, B flat, A, right? <clears throat> okay, so that's a signature lick. A lot of times people blow that off and don't include it. I understand it. They're making it easy, but what that walk down is on the recording. Um, the chorus, I decided to stay away from chords. The student who was working on this song said, give me those guitar licks. So, here we go. That's as close as you're going to get to the guitar licks that are on the recording on the ukulele. So, um, grace note hammer-ons. One, two, three, and four. And finishing up with the E9 chord there. Pretty cool. Um, then there's a series of uh, similar playing that gets a little bit more complicated with the right hand and um, finishing out the uh, chorus with an E7 chord. Four and one, two, three and four. Okay, so it's a great vocal accompaniment version. It follows the signature licks, but once again, 
it's not on the easy easy side so um, if you're looking for a little bit of a challenge this would be good for you and um, I didn't litter the page with a bunch of the right hand things that I would do for this kind of saving that more for people who want to get into the details and lessons so uh, anyway hope that was a good walkthrough killer tune I know a lot of the ukulele groups are playing it and I hope it gets you uh, started on it I also have this in the original key that's another thing important to point out so there's no uh, transposition going on this will match up dead on with the recording so all right have fun with it and I will hope to hear from you about a free Skype lesson. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.